Welcome to Charlie's Cards, where baseball's greats are recognized. We bust open boxes and rip packs to find baseball superstars, so let's play ball! Hello everybody, Charlie's Cards here, back with another wonderful baseball card-filled video. That's why we're here, that's why we bring this beautiful box of Topps 2020 holiday to the table to rip it open and see what we can find. We did one of these last night. And man, I couldn't wait to get another because I love my holiday. So let's see if we can add to the collection of the super rare, the rare super rares and stuff like that. So let's see what we get. And first out of the box is the world champion Clayton Kershaw ornament. So... Now we got a Mets and a Dodger. So I put this in a, a, a graded card sleeve. So that'll that'll keep them, uh, you know, that'll keep them for next year's hanging, quite possibly. I don't know if I'll get that on the tree. My wife is an absolute avid Disney collector. So that's 99% of the tree for us. Which is wonderful. So since I had such a some good luck yesterday, I, I decided to bring Yiddle back and uh, and the Mandalorian and uh, Pikachu. So let's hope for some pack magic here. <coughs> There's Danny Mendek already. Oscar Mikado. We've seen him already. Wow, look at that's a cool card of Yandier Molina. Really like that card. Wow, that's cool. There's my boy Matt Chapman. Hopefully he'll come back for another year. You almost have to feel these kind of Malik Smith. Bryn Nemo and Jackie Bradley giving it the full stance. Nothing. Hmm. I have to look through that stack again, but I don't see anything. Jose Ramirez, Oscar Mancata. Okay, so that's uh, that's the metallic, Oscar Mercado. There's a Jesus Lazardo rookie card, so that adds to our beautiful rookie collection. Bryce Harper. There's a Randy Rosarina rookie card, so that's always good to have in the PC. Jose Barrios. Nick Castellanos. So that adds to my Randy and my Jesus. Hope Randy comes back like he did on fire last year. The Rays could use that. Jeff, uh, Jeff, and and I hope the polar bear comes back ignited by the possibilities that the uh, Mets have now. Brandon McKay, rookie card. Kian Wong. There's an Aaron Judge. And there's our first. And that's a 71. And he's got a big old snowball in his hand. All right. And these are just a little raised. I didn't notice that that on the other ones but they're just a they're not metallic but they're just a little raised big old snowball throwing all right 
Gregory Polanco, D. Gordon, Jack Flaherty, and Rick Porcello. So, uh, looks like uh, Kyle Lewis is about the only one we haven't got yet. Kyle Lewis. So, let's see. There's a Nick Solak. I think we already got him. There he is. There's Kyle Lewis, rookie card. Okay, so there's a metallic of Shogo Akiyama. There's a Juan Soto. This it looks like it's going to be another relic in this one. Gary Sanchez. Marcelo Zuna. There's a Fernando Tatis. Tony Goslin. Edwin Rios. There's another uh, Jordan Alvarez rookie card, so that's uh, that's good to add to the collection. And I got a Ben Zorbrist. Ben Zorbrist. Pretty cool though. Got some candy canes and some snowflakes and some fluffy clouds and piece of it material. Well, that's the relic. Yeah, almost 100% of these are full of relics. I think a box, a bunch of boxes I opened last year, I think I got two autographs, all the rest were relics. There was a, there was a auto relic. I did get an auto relic, I think number to 10. Trey Mancini, we had Demez. Will Myers, Michael Chavis, and there's the Randy. I've seen Randy quite a bit, and he's got the metallic. Corey Sager, Chapman, Corey Kluber, Justin Turner. Okay. There's a Carter Keyboom. There's another Bo Bichette. There's the uh, Rookie Cup Polar Bear. Like I said, I hope that the uh, the excitement around uh, the rebuilding and, and uh, the money that's uh, come to New York Mets, hopefully that will uh, bring passion to Pete's game this year. And this is, this is our, and it's a 71 again, Anthony Rendon, and it looks like he's got a Christmas sleeve on, and they're just raised just a little bit, so Anthony Rendon with a, with a Christmas sleeve on. Jose Altuve. All right, three packs left. Come on, Yeti, give him a pew, 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 pew. Good luck. All right, there's a Matt Olson. I wish they had the desire, the ability. I don't know. What do you guys think about, like, this has been his card in every series. What do you guys think about that? I mean, how easy is that? I mean, really, Tops, you can only come out with one picture for the entire series, for the entire year. And then there's a good chance we might even see some of these same photos next year. I mean, 
Don't they have photographers out there taking thousands of pictures a day? I mean, I saw them during COVID. That's one thing I really did notice was the amount of photographers in the stands. Did you guys notice that too? And what do you guys think about using the same photography over and over and over again? I mean, that's what baseball is about. Baseball is about images. I mean, I think they could do a better job of catching more of them. So there's our metallic Matt Face. Francisco Lindor with the Mets. There's a Gavin Lux rookie card. Alex Bregman, and there's a Dustin May. So those come in the same pack. I've got those yesterday. Ryan Braun. Rosario, Justin Shane Bieber, Mookie Betts. Andy Swanson, Anthony Rendon, Eric Hosmer, Kutch, Alfaro. So if we did get a different pack, unless this one has it. No, nope. is the uh, you get the Lewis Roberts, the beginning of one pack. So unfortunately, I guess we got the other pack that had the Kyle Lewis Rosarena card in it. There's Javier Baez. There's Trent Grissom rookie card. Tim Anderson. Okay, so I like I'm glad I said I like that card because now I've got it in metallic. I like that one. That's cool. So let's see if it gets some light on it now. Yeah, you can see the metallic now. Cool card. All right, there's a Mike Yastrzemski for my buddy uh, Angry Allen. So, Allen, I've got two of these. I'm, I was kind of hoping for a metallic that we can get to you, but if you want this one or you want to see if I can uh, find a metallic, Tim Lopes, there's Bashar again, Yakiyama, Yakiyama. All right. So let's see what additions we got. We got some of the different metallics. So got that one. And then we got this one. So this is our addition. So Jose Barrios with the twins throwing the snowball, 71. And uh, Anthony Rendon with the angels has a little sleeve on. So again... These are 71, so we're looking for 71, 72, 73. 73 being the super, super rare short print. These are both 71s, so maybe they made the 73s even rarer this year. I don't know. I'll have to look at the box. The box says uh, like 160. So gold metallic holiday, which is cool, but those are so... Uh, rare variation, super rare variation, short print. So, one in 161, and the 71s, variation short prints are one in seven. Rare holiday variation, one in 20, and super rare, one in 161. So, let's... Okay, this is a 2019, and it has the same... Super rare holiday variation short print one and one sixty one, so uh, so they're the same odds this year that they were last year. So this is a nineteen box if you've never seen that. And I showed you my uh, Tatis yesterday. So yeah, I mean they they show oh yeah you're gonna get a Guerrero autograph. Uh, nope. All right. Well, that's that. How about a 2018 fire blaster? Oh, the bench to see one of those. So here at Charlie's Cards, we like to save some wax. Huh? All right. So as a conclusion, 
Uh, I added to my rookie collection with Jose Lazardo, a Randy a Rosarina, and a Kyle Lewis. So that's good. That'll go in the stack. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to complete my one to uh, what one to two hundred. 200 so there's a set of 200 in here so I'll be working on that um, I cannot this is a normal card sleeve and this what they call relic has fit in a normal card sleeve so tell me that this is going to be common practice now where they're not going to use or make the the uh, relics as substantial as they have before I don't know, good, bad, what do you think? But both these, I mean, this fit, I mean, it's tiny. So, I mean, literally, it probably fit in a 55. But I got this in a relic. I had to put a piece of tape on it because, I mean, the thing just slides right out of the relic case. So, I don't got the right relic case. But I just, like, wow, that is really thin. So, I wonder if that's of things to come. And then the two, uh, I'll put those in with my... Uh, rare my short prints and uh, I have noticed though that this year they did a better job on the metallic because the uh, metallics last year weren't really lined up there was a lot of graphics there on the on the uh, relic and they had a lot of lining up to do so they, they didn't do a very good job of lining it up but as you can see on that on that star right there they did a pretty good job of lining it up so that's good. They did a better job at that this year. So as we go through this new experience, new cards, more printed, we'll see. I'm glad to see that the uh, odds didn't change at all. So it's still harder to get some of those super, super rares. So, all right, this is Charlie's Cards. I hope you enjoyed that. We had a little fun, looked at some baseball cards. That's what we're here for. Got us some interesting ones. So... Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Charlie's Cards and you want more fun, more baseball cards, then this is the place to get it. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I make a video, you know it's on the way. Bing, bing, bing. Here's Charlie's Cards. Give me a like and comment. Uh, and if you have a, a YouTube page with content and subscribers, if you subscribe to me, I will subscribe back. And if you comment, we'll make a conversation of it. So thank you so much, everybody. Charlie's Cards, over and out.